Howdy and welcome to the 10-week Bible study. This is week nine, day five of our study of Esther. I'm your host, Aaron Hibbs, and today we're talking about Esther 9, 18 through 19. Well, welcome back to the 10-week Bible study. Again, I'm your host, Aaron Hibbs. Would you join me as we pray before we start today? Lord, would you open our eyes and our ears to hear what your word has to say to us, God? Fill our hearts with the knowledge of you. We want to encounter you through your word today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. With that, let's jump into God's word. I'll be reading today from the NIV. This is Esther 9, starting in verse 18. The Jews in Susa, however, had assembled on the 13th and 14th, and then on the 15th, they rested and made it a day of feasting and joy. Going back to yesterday's passage, we finished that all of the Jews outside of the city of Susa, so I, I call them the rural Jews, um, the Bible here calls them the rural Jews, all of them they were feasting, they were celebrating on the 14th day of the month of Adar because their battle day, all of this, the 75,000 people all over the Persian empire, they had that, that fight, that battle on the 13th. So the next day they're celebrating, they're having a big, big joyous feast. It was in Susa that Mordecai and Esther, for some reason, and I think well-placed information told them, uh, they're coming after you again. They're going to try and sneak attack. You don't celebrate on the 14th, be ready to fight again on the 14th. They asked the king, give us uh, an edict to extend this one more day to fight back. It was well-deserved because another 300 people came after them. I think there were probably going to be actually 10, 20, a hundred times more that next day. Had they not issued the edict, I think it actually squashed whatever the people were planning. So then only 300 people showed up, but I believe more than 300 would have showed up had they not done that. And so there were two days of fighting in the city of Susa. <clears throat> and so the people in it, outside of Susa, they celebrate on the 14th. The people in Susa, they start celebrating on the 15th. Now this is, and be like, well, who cares what day they celebrate? This is going to be important for the, the holiday that exists to this day because of of this thing, because of all of these things that happened. So they're celebrating on the 15th, but verse 19, uh, that is why the rural Jews, those living in villages, observe the 14th of the month of Adar as a day of joy and feasting, a day for giving presents to each other. So this, this becomes a Christmas time for everybody. They're so excited about the fact that Haman's dead. They've, the Lord's given them victory over all of their enemies in the land of their captivity. And, and, and so they're celebrating and giving gifts to each other. I mean, this literally becomes Christmas morning instantly. And so we're going to find out that this is going to lead to the holiday of Purim. Uh, Purim, which is a, a holiday celebrated to this day, is actually a, a, a very big deal, very, very big deal uh, to the Jews, uh, even to this day to some extent. And this is not one of the decreed holidays that the Lord himself decreed that they should celebrate. We're going to see that here that Mordecai, one of the most maybe overlooked but very respected I would say overlooked by Gentiles, overlooked by Western Gentile Christians, probably one of the most overlooked leaders of the Jewish people, but probably one of the top three or four most respected leaders in Israel's history is Mordecai. And so Mordecai is going to tell them, you're going to celebrate Purim forever. And by goodness, they've done it. They have done it. Like this is something that is commemorated even to this day. And so we're going to talk about the rural Jews versus city Jews, the country mouse and the city mouse, how they're going to celebrate this coming holiday. But we'll save the celebration of Purim and what the Lord did with Mordecai for next week. For the 10-week Bible study, I'm your host, Aaron Hibbs, and I can't wait to see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching the 10-week Bible study. If you've enjoyed this, would you consider doing that whole like and subscribe and bell thing you're always hearing people talk about? It really helps other people find out about the show, and my heart is for people to fall in love with God's Word. Thank you. Thank you.